Hi, my name is Brett, and in this course, we're going to learn about Docker. This is a great course for anyone that has no idea what Docker is or is not familiar with Linux either. Because in this course, we're going to mostly work off of a Mac, but I'm also going to show how to install Docker onto Windows as well as Mac. So in this case, it's coming from the perspective of someone that works normally in a Windows environment or a Mac environment and is not used to working with the command line so much, which is something that happens a lot in Linux. So it's okay if you're not familiar with the Linux operating system, you're going to pick up some great tools here. So in the course, we're going to, of course, talk about what is Docker, why you'd want to use Docker. We'll get into Docker images, containers, how do you create them, how do you run containers, We'll also look at creating a web server. So there's a few things we're gonna to do to help us solidify concepts that we're learning to make it a little bit more hands-on as well. We're gonna go through customizing an image. So we're getting involved with the Docker Hub, which is where you can find a lot of different images, pull them down and run them. We'll see how fast Docker is with doing that. We'll log into our containers. We can, we'll do some customizations in a container. And then we'll see how do you save these changes and push your changes back up to the Docker Hub. So if you don't have an account on the Docker Hub, this course is also going to show you how to create an account on the Docker Hub. So there's a lot of things that we're going to do. We're going to end the course with creating a WordPress server, which means we need to get MySQL and WordPress running in containers. And once we have that done, we'll go out to the browser, we'll access our new WordPress installation. And from there, you can actually just go through the setup, the WordPress setup, and get the WordPress website up and running from there. We'll go through a lot of different commands that you'll be using with Docker. So there's a number of things you're gonna learn, a number of foundational material that you're going to learn inside this course. The course is pretty thorough as far as giving you that foundation. And again, we're coming at it from a perspective that you don't have a Linux background. You're not really that used to running the command line. So we're going to see how to do all of that from scratch. And by the time you're done with this course, you'll have a pretty good overview of how to use Docker and maybe some reasons why you would even want to use Docker. So if you're ready to start, let's go ahead and jump right in.